D'abord sortie sur bande d'arcade en 2009, la suite de Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger arrive très prochainement en Europe sur console HD. Développé par Arc System Works, connu pour sa maîtrise dans le domaine du jeu de baston 2D et toujours détenteur de la licence Guilty Gear, contrairement à ce que beaucoup de rumeurs laissaient entendre, Blaze Blue Continuum Shift nous a été présenté cet été dans les locaux de Trade West. L'occasion pour nous de poser quelques questions à Gerent Evans, le community manager de la branche européenne. A commencer par la raison qui les a poussés à produire une toute nouvelle franchise. So when um when we approached Blaze Blue we wanted to kind of reset everything and go okay what can we do to to get new players involved to to be excited in 2D fighting games again. Um obviously there weren't a huge amount of, of 2D fighting games on the on the PS3 and the 360. So um Uh, Blaze Blue is kind of means of pushing that 2D art form as, as much as you possibly could in terms of the, the detail of the characters, the detail of the environments, the, the flow of the animation to really explore um, what is, I think, for a lot of game fans, a, a, an art form. Um, and also because it's, it's, a, it's a unique thing compared to, compared to the, the 3D fighters that are currently, that are currently available. Um, and also, uh, we felt that if we, if we were to make a, a, another Guilty Gear game, then again, people would automatically go, oh, okay, this is a hardcore fighting game, so it's not, it's not for me. So by starting afresh with, with new characters and, and a new story, it's a way of getting people who may go, oh, 2D fighting games, and don't know if I want to play, and, and sort of welcoming them into the, into the fold and getting them to, to, to try it out. Un raisonnement plutôt inspiré dans la mesure où les principaux défauts que l'on pouvait reprocher aux productions Dark System, comme Guilty Gear ou le premier Blaze Blue, tournaient essentiellement autour de la complexité plutôt élevée du système de combat. Une remarque que le studio japonais semble avoir prise très au sérieux. I think I think I think you're absolutely right. I mean, one of the one of the biggest criticisms that um, we heard from um, from fans as, as well as new users was that when they first came to it, because the characters are so unique, um, that they didn't really sort of understand how the fighting system worked. And um, our system has tried really hard to address that that very specific point. So this time around, we've included a, a whole wealth of of modes which will help. Um, complete novices, if you've, if you've never touched a fighting game before, there, there are various elements in the game which will help introduce you to that. Um, first of all, we have a, a tutorial mode. And then on top of that, they've also introduced a brand new challenge mode. Now, uh, this is very clever in that, again, it works for um, novice players, but it's also a really, really big challenge for people that are extremely good at, at Calamity Trigger. And that takes you through every character's individual special moves, and again on a very basic level. And then slowly but surely, it shows you how to combo those moves into three or four hits. And then as you come towards the end of the challenge mode, which is, which is very difficult, you then start to learn how to make the 30 and 40 hit combos. Si la profondeur technique fait partie de ces aspects qui ont séduit une petite communauté de joueurs, le mode story, plutôt développé pour un jeu de combat, ne semble pas avoir été mis de côté, comme nous l'explique Gerent. Um, now, the, the story mode in, in Continuum Shift isn't a linear um, experience. You don't start at point A and then go to point B. As you go through the game, you're, you're given a number of choices, and that will affect um, which characters you end up fighting and which aspects of the story that you'll see. With, with Blaze Blue, uh, the developers wanted um, the users to care about the characters, to, to understand who they were and, and, and why they were fighting, and that's something that we're exploring even more, um, more in the sequel. But also, it was to sort of to try and attract new players. Sometimes people might be intimidated by fighting very good players online. So, the the story mode is a way of getting people who may like anime or may like manga and, and may want to get into a fighting game, but but sort of play play on their own and experience a story rather than the kind of competitive competitive element. En Europe, l'intervalle entre les sorties de Calamity Trigger et de sa suite est relativement court. Un motif de mécontentement pour les fans du premier volet qui, à juste titre, pourraient se sentir délaissés. Une situation délicate qui découle avant tout de la capacité Dark System à mener à bien une localisation. Quand le jeu a été lancé en Japon et puis finalement dans les US, il y a eu beaucoup de buzz sur ça. Donc quand nous avons décidé de le faire venir en Europe, bien sûr, nous avons dû traduire le jeu dans autre langue de langue. Et c'était un processus que Dark System travaille, qui n'est pas trop familiar avec, donc c'était un processus très grand pour nous en termes de comment aller sur cette journée et puis lancer le jeu. Et bien sûr, la lenteur de la sortie par rapport à l'Europe est assez grande, donc nous avons dû le faire en anglais et en français. Et bien sûr, beaucoup de fans ont été disappointés avec ce timeframe. Ce que je veux dire, c'est que la lenteur de la sortie est assez grande pour nous en termes de langue. Uh, Continuum Shift is a is a direct sequel. It is a, it is effectively a, a, a new game, 
Um, and even if you, let's say you pick up um, Continuum Shift as, as being your first game, we, we sort of urge people to, to go back to Calamity Trigger and explore that story. So I think people will get a huge amount of enjoyment, even if they've just picked up uh, Calamity Trigger and gone through the story. I think they'll be very excited to see the developments that will occur in, in the sequel. And the, the, the closeness of, of, the, of the releases is, is perhaps regrettable, but you know, trying to please um, both parties, new fans and, and hardcore fans as well. Rappelons que Blaze Blue Continuum Shift sortira le 29 octobre prochain en France au prix sympathique de 40 euros et fera l'objet d'une critique complète sur la chaîne.